Moto G7 Play bypass video. First thing you need to do is connect to Wi-Fi. And then the next step is open your language. And you want to scroll to the very bottom and just select one of these. It doesn't really matter. And then hit emergency dialer. And then click the top bar. And hit the pencil and open this here and a keyboard pops up then you have an option down here this, this little world you tap that or you hold it down and then it comes up with this right here this and you want to hit the green which I believe is like language settings and then once you're inside of language settings you press You press the bottom here and you'll see these this is all different languages I just picked the first one that has an arrow next to it which I think is Arabic it doesn't really matter and you click on it and you save it and once you save it you back out back to the home screen and switch the language back to English and then go back to your emergency dialer hit emergency information click the pen edit information name and then you hit the world again down here hit language settings and then hit add keyboard and you have different options here. I just click Arabic and then hit the three dots in the corner. And it's going to say about and help and feedback. You click help and feedback. And then it takes you here. You want to, I just type in use Morse code. And then you get a YouTube video. So then you just keep tapping it. And it takes you to YouTube. Swipe down and get rid of that. Click the face icon on YouTube. Hit Terms and Privacy Policy. And it takes you to Chrome. Hit Accept and Continue. No thanks. And then you want to type in FRP file dot com. And then you have FRP file homepage. And then you have options. You want to hit the three bars. And hit APK bypass. And then you scroll down and you have Android Google Account Manager 6 APK. You have to give permission to install from Chrome. And then you download the file, hit OK, and then you go back to the three bars, APK bypass, and you want to download bypass FRP 1.0 APK but don't install anything yet because if you install stuff it, it won't it won't work right so once you download that you want to go to your downloads and you want to install the Android 6 Google account manager APK first And then once that's installed, you want to go to Google Settings APK.
open. Okay, that will not work there. Um, what in the actual fuck is going on? Why is that a Google Settings APK? It's not supposed to be Google Settings. It's supposed to be Bypass FRP 1.0. So this is a FRP bypass APK. I installed the wrong one. The Google settings one you don't want to install. You want to install bypass FRP APK. Then you install it and you open it. And it gives you these options here. You hit the three dots in the corner. Hit browser sign in. And it takes you to the browser. Now you're going to sign in with a Google account. All right, and then it just jumps back to the screen here. <laughs> and <laughs> and then you uh right. and then you oh, go to Google oh, and you type in uh okay. you type in uh device find my device my device APK and you search it and you want to download the Google Find My Device APK for Android. And you install it and then you open it. And now it's asking you to sign in. So, So, you can't sign in with the same account that you signed in with previously. So, you got the one that you signed in through the browser. So, you need to use a second Google account. And then you go all the way back to the home screen. Actually, you want you want to go to uh, terms and service privacy policy again, and you want to 
uh, download sidebar launcher APK. So once once you have find my device APK is signed into the phone and the accounts are added, you need to go to a different device and open up the Google Find My Device APK and then you want to remotely factory wipe this device. And then it will wipe the whole device and it'll ask you for a Google account to sign in. And when you go to sign in, use one of the two accounts that you originally signed into the phone. <laughs> 